Hi, welcome back. I hope you are having a great week so far. And I have an unboxing from Portland Leather Goods. Looking at this box, you know I'm excited about this unboxing. This is Portland Leather Goods Medium Crossbody Tote Mystery Box. And this is the 3 plus 8 box. That means you get 3 medium crossbody and 8 small items. Before I get into it, I want to show you the medium crossbody tote I have. So here are the three I have right now. This one I believe is Sedonia color. It's a pebble leather and it has a zipper closure. I love using this one. It's so thick and soft. And then this one is nutmeg I believe. This one also has a zip closure. Not sure if you can see. This one has amazing pebble leather texture. I really love this one. And then I think this one is either Konya or Grizzly. I don't quite remember. And this one is smooth leather and this one is without the zip closure. So this is an open tote style so your things is easier to get in and out. Without waiting too long, let's get to it. So before I look at the colors, let me think. I don't know what came in the box but I'm hoping maybe not red, pink or purple. I would be really excited if I get a lagoon but I don't have my hope high but if I can get a blue or a green or grey I would be pretty happy and all the brown tones are great as well so let's see if I get lucky today <laughs> and with a 3 plus 8 box you don't get color label on the outside so I wouldn't know what's inside this is how it looks this is how they pack they don't use plastic bags to pack their bag and came with a card. I think I may have seen a purple color. <laughs> Let's see what else in the box. Take out the second one. And then take out the third one. This one must have some small items inside because it's kind of heavy. I think I saw the first one was a purple color. So I'll open that first. Let's get it over with, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I believe this is a lavender color. Not a color I would use, so I guess I will have to give it to my friend or maybe do a giveaway. I'm not sure. Even though this is not my typical color, but I can appreciate the leather though. It's a smooth leather. It feels really soft. Everything looks good. Has a, <laughs> has a really nice leather smell as well. This is a beautiful purple. If you love purple color, this one is great. It's beautiful and the leather is so soft and supple. Let's see if any small item inside the box. That looks like it could be their cosmetic pouch. I think, I'm guessing it's a darker color. So this one has four items inside. Let's open the smaller one first. It's a small tassel. This may be their new color. I think maybe their clay color. It's not my typical color. But with this kind of bright color, I can actually use it on my luggage. So when I travel, it's easy to tell which one is my luggage. The next item, I think this is a card case based on the shape and size. It's a nutmeg leather card case. Has two slots. I love nutmeg leather. This one is a little bit lighter than the tote bag color I have. 
And this one looks like Rancher Wallet again. <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually their envelope pouch, I think. Not sure what they call this one. Is this a, is this a sunflower color? It's really nice yellow color. It's not too bright. It's kind of like a mustard muted yellow color. I love this one. This is a good size pouch. I can definitely use this one for sure. Really happy with this one. And then let's look at this cosmetic case, I think. That looks like a darker color as well. I'm not sure what they call this one because I haven't been looking at their small items. So, not sure what they call this one. It's a little bit different from other cosmetic case I have. And I believe this is their new clay color. It's always great to get a pouch. I love using them to organize small stuff inside my bag. Let's continue to look at this second tote. I'm not sure what color is this. It's so fun to open a mystery box, even though it may not be the color I can use, but I still have fun doing that. This look like their honey color. This one without the zipper closure. So this one is an open tote style. The purple color one has a zip closure. Luckily, I don't have a honey color. I was thinking to get one at some point. So now I have a honey color as well. Now let's open the last tote and see what do I get and the rest of the small items. This is their pebble leather fork color. I have this in the small Lola bag as well. And this one comes with zip closure. I remember somebody asked me why sometimes Portland leather doesn't have the logo on the front here. Like this one. You see with the smooth leather, with this honey leather, you have the logo on the front. And with this one, you don't see logo right here. I remember seeing the explanation was with leather like that that has heavier texture, the logo just won't look very defined when they deboss the logo on the leather. To me, I don't have issue with that because I'm not big on logo anyway. So with or without a logo, I don't mind at all. This one is a little bit heavier. So let's see what are the small items that came with it. Let's open it up. Some bigger items. So I can tell this is probably a luggage tag. This is their almond color luggage tag. Looks like it has a landscape graphic embossed on it. At the back, you do get a card to fill in your information if you want to use it as a luggage tag. I think you can hang it as a bag charm on your back as well. And then this looks like some kind of pencil pouch. I can feel it's the triangle shape. Wow! This is pretty long. So if you have a longer pen, marker pens or pencil, this will be able to fit. Not sure if you can see from the screen. This one has some sort of floral embossed pattern. I believe this is their black dahlia leather. This is the first time I'm seeing this leather. It's kind of like a smooth leather with pattern embossed on it. And then this one is likely to be the wrap journal. It's a, it's, a, it's a pink one. It's a pink wrap journal. I think this one is either small or medium size. This is another leather with heavy texture. The texture is very similar to the fork color. And then the last one, this one is definitely a cosmetic pouch. I don't have this leather. I think this one is a really dark plum color. It's a good shape. And as I said before, I love the pouches to organize the stuff in my bag. So this is great. 
So to recap of what I got today is this purple color with zip closure and then the honey color as an open toad style and the fog color with zip closure as well. I consider myself pretty lucky because I didn't get one that I already have even though I didn't get a lagoon color. I think lagoon color is really popular. I'm sure many of you would agree with me. So I hope they bring this color back and I would love to get more toads in this color. So out of all these trees, my favorite definitely is their honey color. I know this is probably just very standard, but I love smooth leather. I love a neutral color. So this one would work best for me. In terms of small items, I think this pouch is really cool. I really love this color. And then I can definitely use this luggage tag. And it's great to see what their new color looks like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So out of all these, which one is your favorite from today's unboxing? Anyway, next month, I may visit their store in Portland. So let me know what you would like to see when I'm at the store. Maybe I'll do a shop with me video. Thanks for joining me today for this medium crossbody bag 3 plus 8 mystery box unboxing. I have fun open up this box and share all these colors with you. And I hope you like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to discuss more about Portland leather, feel free to drop me some comments and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!